lemon bars. Lovely, luscious lemon bars. They're rich and refreshing at the same time. They're light and satisfying at the same time. And no one knows their secrets, but we do love eating them. We do know that. <laughs> Last year, I shared with you guys my favorite lemon bar recipe, that lovely kind of tender, buttery shortbread base topped with a smooth, tangy, creamy, but also somehow light and fluffy lemon custard mousse stuff on top made of just so few ingredients, it's actually quite ridiculous. <laughs> they're sweet, they're sour, they're buttery, they're light. They're everything you want from a snack, from a dessert, from a breakfast, I don't know what kind of day you've had. And today I wanna to share with you guys um, a kind of, a kind of cheeky evolution of that. Today, I wanna to share with you guys marbled chocolate lemon bars. This is not, though it is one of the motives, it's not just to share my love of the combination of chocolate and lemon together, which is so criminally underrated compared to, you know, chocolate and mint or chocolate and orange, but also to provide you with a gorgeous contrast of colors, a stunning mix of flavors between sour and bittersweet, but also super creamy and rich and chocolatey and lemony and fluffy and dense somehow all at the same time. They're a little bit mixed up, there's something a little bit different, and there's something you certainly won't find on every other recipe channel. That I promise you. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into these rich and refreshing marbled chocolate lemon bars. Our lovely lemon bars commence from the base layer, that gorgeous buttery chocolate biscuit base. And no cheating in using store-bought chocolate biscuits here. We're doing it all by ourselves because we're just so talented. <laughs> Mix together plain or double zero flour with a bit of cocoa powder, ideally sifting it to get rid of any sneaky lumps. To that, you're just going to want to add a little bit of sugar and a few twists of salt. Always add just a little bit more salt than you think you need in baked goods. The seasoning never goes amiss. Now stir that together just a wee bit before adding some lovely cold cubed butter. Cut it into cubes as small as you have the patience for really before adding a glug of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste and just attacking it with either a pastry cutter or a knife until you have hardly any lumps of butter left and then just use a nice pair of clean hands, ideally your own, to rub it into a kind of lumpy sort of semi-dough, semi-crumble stuff with no big bits of butter in there. And then either using your hands or the back of a spoon or a spatula or something, get it into a flat layer and shove it into your preheated oven to bake. And once it's just about done or once it's out and cooling, you can make that lovely lemon topping for your lemon bars. Start with some large egg yolks, just giving them a nice violent whisking to start getting them looking a little bit lighter. To that, we add glorious, delicious, sweet, sticky condensed milk. Just throw the whole can in there. Not the actual can itself, but all of its contents whisking again for another couple of minutes and then add the zest and juice of three lovely lemons before getting all aggressive and letting all of the weekly stress out for another two minutes until you have a nice eerie looking mixture. Just after that, you're going to want to melt just a little bit of dark chocolate to help with the chocolatey vibes of these marbled chocolate lemon bars. Get the lemon mixture on top of the baked biscuit before pouring over that melted chocolate, ideally as dark as you like, and marbling it through with the kind of pointy end of a knife and shoving it back into the oven at a slightly lower temperature for just 15 minutes. Sprinkle over an extra bit of salt at the end if you like. I'm maybe just a maniac when it comes to seasoning things. And then allow it to cool and chill in the fridge until completely cold and set. Slice it into rectangles, into squares, into triangles, into dodecahedrons, whatever shape you like, before tucking your teeth into these gorgeous, soft, buttery, marbled chocolate lemon bars. I hope you love these every bit as much as we do.